Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, episode 4, take 2. I uh, had some pro more problems with the throne room issue, it was crashing OBS and uh, made editing really bad. Um, so we're going to just rewind a little bit, you guys don't need to know about that, that I've already played this right, why did I even say it? Uh, anyways, carrying on. Let's have a look here, Jacques who is uh, a bold fool. This is the son of our wet nurse. Uh, he's he's slow, poor guy. We're going to give him a martial education. And uh, Gihondo can marry. He's won. It seems a little too soon. But let's see who is out there in terms of inheritable traits. There's a two-year-old comely Gaelic girl. Mm, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll wait... I guess we'll wait. I mean, he's one. It's not not really urgent. Um, we could assign him an education, but I think we'll wait as well. It's it's not pressing at this point. Uh, but one thing I am curious about doing is, can we go petition our liege yet? I don't think so. I think we have to wait for that to come up. Because I need to see if the throne room thing is fixed. Or if this is all going to be nonsense. There's a scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill my courtier, Catherine. We must stop the villain behind us. Or not. We can just carry on. Now we're waiting for piety to reach 100 so we can attack Rames. Uh, I would like that to happen very much so. Oh yeah, and um, we're trying to kill our bishop. Because he's horrible. He's really, really horrible. We lost, uh, bestow royal favor. Okay. Are we... We're... Increasing control. Oh, Thierry. Uh, one of my agents has acquired a viper and arranged for a servant to hide it in Thierry's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead, and he will be as good as dead the moment the snake strikes. 74% chance of it happening, 89% chance of secrecy. Let's give it a shot. Uninvited Thierry is dead by the lethal bite of a viper. The snake struck not long after he retired to his chambers. And although guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. <laughs> Thankfully, snakes do not talk, so the attack cannot be traced back to me. My little friend has done its work well. My little friend. Uh, we lost some stress because we're statistic, and we no longer have... Hopefully. Yeah, we've got a good bishop now. Let's, in fact, try and sway him. So that he likes us and, like, endorses us and stuff. Uh, that would be really great. And our um, piety gain went up a lot now that he's gone. Now, what else can we do here? Declare wars. we got that low control issue. So increasing control... And you know, I would like a I would like a claim on Cambrai. So let's do that. Because they're just um unrelated counties there. 449 soldiers, 327 soldiers, yeah, they're just ripe for the taking. So that's what we'll do, if we can. We have a daughter. Oh, Bertha, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? I shall call you Player X. After one of my patrons. If you're interested in getting your name in-game, consider Patreon. Link in the main channel page. Uh, Grey, rodent killer. This cat has lived a good long time. As Grey approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise him. The castle has never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work, we're rat-free, which gives us a huge health boost. Neighboring ruler won war. Ah. Uh, oh, we can go to Count Rule's Hunt. Let's do that. Uh, it's not far at all. It's not dangerous. I mean, there there's chance of... Low chance of danger. Five gold? Yeah. Let's go. 
Hunt, a fresh start. Yes, we're traveling. I can't wait. And we're there. As we wait, uh, wait the arrival of the rest of the guests, Count Raul has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the grasslands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. My bird grows restless waiting, knowing it will soon be unleashed. That's not an innuendo at all, is it? Uh, soon. Mayor Joffrey assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the flatlands near Crazy. With any luck, we'll find a group of bustards, and our hawks will have great sports. The beaters' teams are ready with their hounds, and a well-appointed spot has been selected. Let's get out there. Uh, someone, opinion, something. We follow our quarry into the flatland, slowly but surely gaining on the flighty bustard. It suddenly spooks, charging away in another direction, and as I move to see what scared it, I can scarcely scarcely believe my eyes. Count Pepin and Mayor Joffre entangled on the ground in a passionate embrace. Uh, we can say we saw nothing, gain opinion, we can expose their secret, or get up, I feel the beast is nearby. So we get an increased success chance, and I lose stress. I always like losing stress. We don't really care. We're sadistic. Um, oh, they bonded over hunting. Oh, yes, they sure did. My hawk takes a perch and keenly spies across the landscape. In a flash, the bird descends upon something and turns to a frenzy once it has reached its prey. It pecks and claws at something on the ground, though I can't see what. I hur hurry over to the frantic screeching hawk and find it... Hawking not over a dead beast, but a small collection of coins and trinkets. The value doesn't seem to be too extravagant, and I'm sure I wouldn't be able to find the original owner even if I wanted to. A fine find, my feathered friend. 50 gold and we lose more stress. I'll take it. Spend 5 to make 50. Count rules, game masters, signal the party to hush. We have arrived at the release spot. From our vantage point, we can see several tawny bustards strutting about the tall grass ahead. The party halts as we prepare to remove our birds' hoods and set them one by one to their sport. It's time. I watch excitedly as my hawk identifies a target and takes wing from its watch, soaring high into the air. The bustards are none the wiser. As my hawk scans the ground from high above, time and again my hawk swoops in for kill but misses retreats or only grazes its target. After hours of attempts, the game have all but disappeared, the hawk is near exhausted and the light is fading. A shame. The hunt fails. It wasn't our hunt. I'm not too disappointed. We gain the trained hunter, though. Heeding the call of the wild is an adventure, and the outing delivered the good and the bad in abundance. The master of the hunt, Adelbert... Aldebert, rather, gathers the disappointed party and exhausted hounds for the trip home. The bustard indeed eluded us this time. Let us leave this adventure behind for now. Yeah, we got the hunter trait, we got a tiny bit of falconer experience, and we lost basically all the stress we had. Cool, let's go home. Uh, we can unpause to do that, of course. Now, dynasty members can get married. Yeah. My daughter and my son. Too soon, too soon. Thank God I can go inside again. Regency ended. Corrupt tax collector. I've noticed various inconsistencies and omissions in the tax records for Shalon. It is clear these errors cannot be simple mistakes. Someone has been embezzling funds. Unfortunately, the trail of this mysterious culprit is erratic enough that it is difficult for me to determine exactly which tax collector is responsible. Investigate the matter discreetly. 85% chance of success, and we gain 150 uh, prestige. Assume direct control over taxation. Control in Shalon will go up by 20. That would be really helpful right now. Or execute the lot of them and bring in new collectors. I mean, Dread is useful, but I think I'm going to go with the control there. Uh, that just seems like a good opportunity. We can join a tournament. Uh, and we can petition our liege. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording. 
And actually, no, I don't need to do that. I just need to save the game right here. And um, we're just going to call it, because I, I did it episode 3 mid. And if I have to cut up this video and resume from this point, I'll do that. Um, although we may go to this hunt first. 13 days held in Calais, so it'd be up here. Oh gosh, but it's awfully dangerous. If we have mercenary guards, it doesn't do much for us. Forder, no, I don't think we're going to go that one. It's just too, too hostile. So, we're going to go petition our liege. Now, I have made some changes here. Uh, I can't tell if, um, yeah, I can't tell if it's recording properly or not. But we're going to petition liege. Uh, we travel to court for a petition, and we want, the only thing we can really do is fortify our borders or a council appointment. I would prefer the council appointment. It's going to cost us 50 prestige, but we're going to go petition our liege. I am going to uh, put in a cut here because I want to be able to resume from here and check the, the footage. So that will just take uh, less than a second. We're back. Let's get moving here. Uh, start traveling. Yes. I forget I didn't click the thing. I'm escorted into King Charles' throne room where he beckons me to approach and address him. Uh, I elucidate the abilities proven and otherwise that make me a suitable candidate to be the King's steward requesting the position as his advisor. I can't do any worse than Duke Ramnolf II of Aquitaine. After listening to the speech, he sits in silence for several moments as he mulls my petition over. Eventually, he addresses me. You make some good arguments, but if I am to agree to your request, I will need something in return. Surely, you see it would benefit both of us if we come to an arrangement. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm armed with a little bit of foreknowledge of how difficult it is to, uh, to do the martial or diplomacy thing, and they're not our best traits, so I think we're just going to do it. We're going to pay 50... And we're going to get the thing. We also get some renown, which is really valuable to us for our dynasty. And now we are Stuart. And we are home. Uh, quick cut. Be right back. And I have looked over the footage now, and it looks like the throne room is recording properly. Thank you very much for bringing that to my attention. Uh, it's, it's always a bit disappointing when, you know, you don't record a thing. Because that's, that's what we're here for. Schemer discovered my spy master has come to me with grave news. It is my courtier Melisande that is plotting against my courtier Catherine, the cold-hearted fiend. Well, um, we can, yeah, hooks and secrets. Oh, we can, we can blackmail these guys for hooks. 80% chance, 100% chance. Oh, we can only send one interaction at a time. What about Melisande? Blackmail refused. Okay, I can't reveal his secret, but I can reveal or I can blackmail you 100% chance. We gain a hook. And then we use that hook to take $15 reduce from him. Let's see if there's any new potential wives here. There is a zero year old pretty Dutch girl who offers a potential alliance. I mean, we could have our son marry Bond Carling, who, uh, you know, being of the Carling dynasty, she's brave, she's greedy, homely. It's not a bad shout, but the age difference does worry me a bit, because it's nine years between them. She'll be 25, which is still, you know, they could still have kids. But maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. Or do we even worry about traits? And if we go for alliance power, there's, well, there's some counties. Oh, this is, this is actually our friend. We could marry our son to our friend. Our, our son is two. We gotta remember that. Um, there's a five-year-old. 
Again, Bond Carling, Brave, Greedy, House Carling. Mm. One year old with the Borough of Wilton. No, I don't. I don't think any of that's uh, looking too exciting right now. We'll wait until he's a little older. He's still infirm, or sickly, rather. It's unfortunate. Time carries on. We're almost there on Piety. Stewardship. Let's go for War Profiteer. We'll gain 10% extra gold when we're at war. Giles is swayed. Excellent. We'll continue trying to sway him. We want him to like us so the church likes us in general. Can we do religious relations and maybe get... But, oh, I thought I was fabricating a claim. Why did I... Oh my gosh. ADHD is why. Sweet smiles and little lies. Just like other children his age, my son and heir, Jihondo, sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanor. And people always forgive him when he does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. I'll keep an eye on him. He is charming. Charming is good for diplomacy or intrigue. So I think we're going to put him on the Intrigue path. Because we're not half bad with Intrigue ourselves. Oh, we got 20 Intrigue. Yeah, we're pretty good. So that'll do. Makes me wonder what more we could be doing with our Intrigue. Uh, I wonder if we should be looking for more secrets. Find secrets here in Ile-de-France. Again. Although our Spy Master, he's not so good. Um... But we don't have better. That's too bad. What kind of activities can we do? We could hold a hunt of our own. Pilgrimage. Oh, we could go to university. Let's go to university. 175 bucks to go to Canterbury. Oh, that actually costs 223. Or the Vatican. Costs uh, uh, 233. Or Kurtuba. Yeah, no, that's going to cost 100 piety. Uh, we're going to cancel that for now. We need, we know we need a few more gold anyways. So let's do that. Because abs uh, absurd. University can be useful. Lines about legacy. The latest work of my acquaintance, Prince Carloman, has become all the rage at court. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Carloman has publicly dedicated it to me. That count of absurdlia men need not fear as lives depart, though it may tear their grievers apart. And when their final hour nears, wonder will life echo through the years. So far I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for much longer. I don't know how I feel about this... Oh, we could gain piety. Uh, I think we're just going to gain the piety from here. He gets opinion of us, and we gain piety. That's good, because then we can go to war with Rames. Yes. Okay. Also, before we do that, I just want to have a quick look at our county control. Marl is still really bad. It's at 20... Yeah. Okay, is that what we're working on? No, we're working on Shalon right now. I think we'll switch that over. Even though I'd rather have him training commanders, but we need the uh we need the county control. And then we'll go to war. Declare war for our claims. Costs us a hundred prestige and a hundred piety. Which we can afford now quite easily. Alright, raise all armies over here at Rethel, and we're gonna start heading that way. And we caught him! Oh, he had more troops. Where did they come from? He might have hired mercenaries there. Our friend Benoit died. The Baroness Benoit of a Tomp. Oh, that's too bad. Well, he must have hired mercenaries there or something. Just a little too late. 
The weakness that has plagued my son since his birth has finally released its hold on him. Relief washes over me as I see Ji Hondo running around with all the other children. Wonderful. May you grow strong, Ji Hondo. And they're going to come back for round two. Hopefully, this is, this is, a, oh no, they're going to try and besiege absurdly. Countess Bertha gained pregnant. Excellent. Yeah, we are under siege. That's okay. Hopefully we can get over there in time. Espionage, attempted murder. While performing his duties as my spy master, Hamden has uncovered a secret held by Prince Carloman of Barry. He was the man behind a failed murder attempt against Carloman. Carloman, Carling, and Baron, Prince Carloman. Carloman tried to kill Carloman. Okay, I get it. You learn of Prince Carloman's secrets. Now, we try and blackmail. No? No secret that can be used as blackmail. Okay. Maybe we unpause and then we can... No, no blackmails. Hmm. We could really piss off the king and expose his secret, even though we already used it. Huh. Why can't I? Oh well. Let's finish this war. Uh, well, it's not finished yet. Okay, let's get over there and try and stop them. We can join a grand tournament. Uh, that's very far away. We're not going there. Come on, get there in time. Grey has charmed a vassal. Yes, very good. Come on! They left. Yeah! And we got them with the defensive bonus of being on home territory. Excellent. Let's go siege down the barony. Devious practice. Countess Bertha gained deceitful. Interesting, because of her... Because of her intrigue. Oh. So she gained even more intrigue. She's also considered sinful now, but... Whatevs, man. Now we gotta get back over here, siege this down to finish the war. My acquaintance Gilamy died. My son! Oh, Bertha, you've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? Louis, Giraud, Louis, Giraud, Redbone, Charles. You do absurdities. Let's let's just go with, uh... Actually, no, we'll... Pepin. Jacques Pepin. Marcus. Joshua. Samuel. I think Pierre's fine. There you go. Espionage. Sodomy. While performing his duties as my spy master, Hamden has uncovered the secret held by Count Pepin of Tanarwa. Uh, he's been enjoying the intimate company of other men, the foolishness of thinking that such a sin against God would go unnoticed. You will regret giving in to your desires, Pepin. Alright. Uh, can we try and blackmail him again? Might accept 80%. Yes, we gained the ha uh, blackmail. Hook. Uh, boldest of the trolls and needs a worthy successor. Sorry, this is our... Yeah, our thing. We could recruit Simon to court. Would require 100 gold. Oh my gosh, we'll do it. And then we'll have him as the successor. Now, meanwhile, oh, Simon can marry. Uh, we don't have any courtiers in here. How old are you, sir? 51? Okay, so a 30-year-old... 27-year-old chaste wife? Um... Sure. Enjoy. I was gonna do something, and then I totally forgot. Totally forgot. 
Well, it's fine. Let's just finish this war. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay, she's gonna come marry Simon. Speed it up again. A gift fit for... <clears throat> Pardon me. The hustle and bustle is palpable among the traveling merchant stalls. The temporary shacks are stacked to the rafters and contain all manner of knickknacks. These pieces are positively radiant and would make a lovely gift. As Countess Bertha and I walk uh, by one of the merchants peddling jewelry, she hesitates slightly as she leans in for a closer look. Perhaps one of these would brighten the day for my darling soulmate. A torque fit for Bertha. 75 gold, she gets bejeweled, gains opinion of us. She doesn't need opinion of us. Uh, the gift of company, I mean, she gets bejeweled, but she doesn't actually get <clears throat> an artifact. See, they, that, that should give her an artifact. So, and since it doesn't, I'm not going to bother. She loves us. It's a hundred. We don't need silly baubles to declare our love. Um, enforce demands. There we are. We also have prisoners. We could get a hook on you. We could get a hundred bucks for you. And we could get a hook on you. Well, I like hooks. Because maybe we can get money. But it doesn't seem like they have any. Disband all. We now own Rames. Very nice. We gained a hook. We gained a hook. Can we blackmail anyone? You should grant the County of Rames the Temple to someone. Grant to... Can I grant it to my suffragan Bishop Giles? Um, I do have a Baron. You see, they would be made Bishop, I think. What's the learning? My Spy Master and Court Physician. No, not you. You're a lunatic. Vassal, a knight. My caravan master, a knight here. Jacques, he doesn't like us that much, but it wouldn't be a big loss to send him off. He's not very good. I would prefer, though... Oh, this guy's get ridden. Prefer someone who likes us more. Opinion of us. <clears throat> Mayor, Alain... He's really good. He's really good stewardship-wise. Um, yeah, okay, you can have it. Not the county, though. I didn't want to give him the county. Why? Oh, because it's a... <clears throat> because it's a temple holding. And, uh... Yeah, so it'll barely get... Oh, the County of Rames has the wrong holding type for your form of government and gives you barely any taxes or levies. We want the taxes from Rames. It's it's highly developed. Gosh. Try this again. Can it please? Okay, grant to... That vassal. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, Mayor of San Quentin is Prince Bishop... Did I just lose control of it? Oh my god! What? That's really annoying. Oh, because we're not a duke. Because we're not a duke. Oh. Okay. Well, that was a bonehead move, and I think we're just gonna have to end with that bonehead move. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. <laughs> I've learned something today, have you? Oh my gosh. We're probably going to have to take it again, because I want to have this duchy. The duchy of Champagne. Campagna. Uh, can we... Well, if we go for Sens... Yeah, see? We needed to keep Rames for a little while. I don't know. What would you do? Would you load the game in that... In that um, in that instance, you were religious relations. Now I want a claim on this place. 
because I want to become the Duke of Champagne. Yes, indeedy. All right, that's it for now. Uh, thanks to Jihondo and Player X for their continued support on Patreon. Uh, if you're interested in doing that, check the links on the main channel page. And uh, yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. I'll talk at you in the next one. Stay safe and take care. Bye for now.